Fantasy Bees! I hope you guys are having a great week. Uh, today, I thought I would bring you a very easy, simple, quick to make cauliflower soup. When the weather gets kind of cold or there's a bit of a chill in the air, I love making soups. And I know we've talked about making a soup series before, but I really want to know if you guys want to see more soup recipes. If this video gets, hmm, let's see, 2,000 thumbs up, I will continue with the series throughout fall. Uh, the next one I think I will make is the miso tofu soup that I talked about in my poke bowl recipe, but yeah, I'm really excited and let me know if you guys want to see that. We will go ahead and get started on one of my favorite soups though, the cauliflower soup. Here I have a head of cauliflower and cauliflower is becoming one of my favorite vegetables to buy at the grocery store. It's so versatile, you can pretty much use this in anything. I used to use this a lot just roasting, but now people are making soups, pizza crust, I don't know, like rice with it. It goes well with everything, but my tried and true favorite is this soup. And you know what? I'm gonna show you how to cut this so that you don't make a mess everywhere. Before when I cut it down the center right here, all the little bits would fall apart, but here's a trick. Just flip it over, bottom side up, and just take a really sharp knife and cut it through the bottom. That way you're not serrating the florets and you're just kind of cutting through and you're just cutting through the big edges first. Look, there's no mess. Yay. I mean, a few kind of fell out, but sometimes I would get like a whole cutting board full of these little guys and uh, and it was so hard to clean up. Anyways, I'm only going to use half of a cauliflower, so I'll set this aside and I'll just start chopping. I'm gonna remove the stem, cut it in half, and then I'm just gonna cut them into small florets. And you just wanna cut it where you can break it apart naturally. For any big pieces, I like to cut them really small so that they'll cook faster. And that's it for my cauliflower. I have about two cups here, and I'm gonna get right on into cooking and show you guys how to make the soup. Okay, I have everything all laid out and I'm gonna let my pot get hot. Once it's ready, I'm gonna add a drizzle of olive oil. I have half an onion that I've already diced and I'll cook it for about two to three minutes. I like letting my onions get caramelized because it adds so much flavor. Once it's nice and brown, I'm gonna add my spices. Here I have a quarter teaspoon of dried thyme, one teaspoon of kosher salt, a dash of nutmeg. This is my secret weapon. It adds a nice complex note to the soup. And some minced garlic. And I'll just give it a stir for a quick minute. Then I'll add in my cauliflower. I know I said two cups, but this is probably more like four cups. Uh, just use half a head of cauliflower. Then a small Yukon Gold potato. I'm using one that's about this size. Um, I like Yukon Gold potatoes because they add like a creaminess to the soup, but you can totally leave it out if you're going no carb, or you can use a russet potato, which is really good too. Give it a final stir to mix everything up. And finally, to make this totally vegan, I'm using three cups of vegetable stock. I'm gonna add enough to cover all the vegetables. If you need a little more, then go ahead and add water or more vegetable stock. I'm just making sure all the veggies are submerged. This looks about good, but I actually like my soup a little thinner, so I'm gonna actually add half a cup of water to this. I'm gonna let the soup come to a boil and once it starts to boil, I'm gonna turn the heat down and just let it simmer for 15 to 20 minutes. Cover it up. In the meantime, I'm gonna prepare the rest of my lunch, which I think this will pair really well with grilled cheese. Mm, I can't wait. All right, it's been 20 minutes and I think it's ready. Let's check it out. It looks good. Give it another stir. Oh 
Oh man, you guys, this smells so good. The vegetables are nice and soft, so now I'm gonna go in with my immersion blender to basically puree it until it's nice, silky, and smooth. So the final step is to add a little bit of taste to it. It's pretty bland at this point, so I'm just going to add salt and pepper to taste. And you know the drill? Mix, mix, mix. You guys, this smells so good. Let's go ahead and serve this baby. I have my grilled cheese all ready, and I like to cut it into sticks so it makes it easy to dunk. All right, now let's serve our cauliflower soup. This soup makes enough for four to six servings, and if you wanna make it for an easy weeknight meal, I would pair it with like a salad or grilled chicken, um, but this one I'm serving for lunch with grilled cheese. Then to garnish, I'll add a little bit of green onions right on top. And let's give it a try. It's creamy. I taste that warmth from the nutmeg and the vegetable stock just gives it so much body. Mm. This is so delicious. I kept it vegan for the soup recipe, but I like to enjoy it with a little bit of cheese. How would you guys enjoy this? Comment below and let me know. And also be sure to let me know if you wanna see more soup recipes. Thank you so much for watching, you guys. I'll see you next time. Bye.